Last few Sunday, I talked about one of my friends who I've been praying for, and that friend was Brooklyn. And with the theme being to going, it kind of encouraged me to invite her to church. She'd said a couple times that she wanted to go to church or wanted to go to youth group. So after a couple times of inviting her, she came. And that's kind of how being to going has challenged me to really be a good Christian and then using that and inviting my friend Brooklyn. That um, was definitely uh, scary going to a new group with crazy people. But, uh, <laughs> it was a very different place and I felt that it was a better place for me to be in than I was before. When I was little I used to go to a church and they weren't very including. It was just telling you this is what happened and just it was about like just being there. But I found that Westridge, it was more about community and getting to have relationships with people and learning more about God in a more intimate way than I had before. It was very different. <laughs> so I finally told Natalie that I would go to camp with her in all of these two. And uh, before camp had started, uh, God had really been working on me and a lot of unfortunate things had been happening and I just felt like a huge weight was just holding me down and I kept getting these voices in my head and a lot of them very confusing me like telling me that's wrong or to go this way and I couldn't quite decipher which was which I felt like it was Satan but I wasn't quite sure because I didn't know much about the whole story of him and God and so when I had gone to camp we were uh, listening to a speaker and he had told us that if you need someone to talk to, all the uh, sponsors, yeah, sponsors <laughs> would be in the back, and that you can go talk to them. And all I think was like, go talk to Kaylee. You need to go talk to Kaylee. And so, like, I was standing there for like a little bit. I remember looking back at Kaylee because I looked back and I was like, I already knew sh where she was, and she was looking at me too. And uh, so I was like sitting there for a minute and I was like, maybe I should go talk to her. I mean, everything in my body is telling me to go talk to her. And so I finally went and talked to her and I told her about all that's been happening. I didn't know what to say at first, but I felt just all coming out and I told her everything that's happened and she really helped me think through things. And so after we had finished talking, we went back and I, I that night I just kept thinking about everything that we had talked about. And so the next day, um, again, the, the uh, speaker had told us, if you need to go talk to a sponsor, they're in the back waiting to talk. And so I just followed Kaylee out. I knew her, I needed to talk to her. And so we went back and talked, and she told me about how I could be saved. I always thought, like, you know, God just forgives you. You don't need to, like, ask for it again or anything. So I didn't quite know, and she told me there's, there's not specific things you have to say you just ask God and that you want to give your life to him and I found it like I felt like I was being pulled in two different directions and there was one that my heart and soul was wanting to go to and one that my body just wasn't willing to give up and so I just kind of broke down and I was like okay I'll, I want to give my life to Christ I'm afraid about it and ask God and the next day, it was, I had had these voices in my head for so long, and then the next day, my head was silent. Like, it was so peaceful, and it was really awesome, and it was like, this is what calm and serenity feels like, what Natalie probably feels like all the time, and I just couldn't believe it. And yeah. So, <laughs> I was crazy, and I was already a little bit teary. And then Brooklyn comes and tells me this, and I just start bawling my eyes out. <laughs> I couldn't even sing. It was just so awesome. 